Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky with your moon phases for June 2025. The waxing crescent moon will lie near Mars and Regulus on June 1st. The first quarter moon falls on June 2nd through 3rd. First quarter moons rise around noon and set at midnight. Look for it high overhead as darkness falls. The moon is farthest from Earth on June 7th. The full strawberry moon lights up the sky all night overnight on June 10th through 11. It's named that to coincide with the harvesting of strawberries. The full strawberry moon will lie near Antares, the brightest star in Scorpius. Then about an hour before sunrise on June 18th and 19th, look for the moon near Saturn. The last quarter moon is on June 18th. Last quarter moons rise around midnight and set at noon. Can you spot it high in the sky after sunrise? On the mornings of June 21st and 22nd, the moon will visit brilliant Venus and lie near the delicate Pleiades star cluster. The moon's closest point to the Earth for this month is on June 23rd. We'll have the darkest skies for stargazing on the nights around the new moon on June 25th. It's the last of five new supermoons in a row for 2025. And on June 26th and 27th, use binoculars to look near a slender waxing crescent moon about 30 to 40 minutes after sunset to spot Mercury. The twin stars of Gemini, Pollux and Castor, will be nearby. Then after darkness falls on June 28th and 29th, look for a waxing crescent moon near Mars and Regulus. Mercury will lie lower on the horizon. Here's a binocular view of the moon and Mars on June 29th. And some locations, including parts of Russia, Hawaii, the Galapagos Islands, and South America, can see the moon occult or pass in front of Mars at 1 UTC on June 30th. What a way to end the month!